Hi there. Welcome to Josie K Tarot. I'm Josie K. If you haven't been here before, welcome. Uh, I want to explain a little bit to people who are really searching for fulfillment at this time, people who feel empty, lost, or stuck. Um, you know, it's amazing to me that people believe in Ouija boards and evil, but they don't believe that through cards and praying to spirit and God and Jesus in general doesn't bring in blessings and angels and protection. So how far off track have we come from our path? Because there is a path laid out before us that we choose. We do not get punished by spirit. There is a karmic wheel. And we'll get to that. Know that, just imagine that every time you spoke to God in your mind while you were mowing the lawn, that God is really working to put together blessings in your life. What if we could do that? Because we can. We choose not to for whatever reason. Our human ways always want us to say, oh, whatever, da, da, da. But us humans are obviously not that smart at times. Know, please, that as you pass people and any time you or someone else says, God bless, that they just blessed positive, wonderful blessings of and gifts into your life by asking God to bless you or vice versa. Every day you can pray inside your head, by your bed, and a million times a day in your mind as you so choose while you're driving to bless and keep safe your family and your friends and their family and friends and all of eternity. Because more, the more blessed energy you put out to spirit, the more wonderful blessings you're bringing into yourself. It's a karmic wheel. Now, if we choose to start making other decisions, as humans do, there is karma, okay? This is so spirit doesn't have to come and slap each of our hands. It's because spirit's giving us the opportunity to be who we were blessed to be. Babies, when they first come from heaven, they're fresh, they're brand new, they're full of hope and faith and great things. And then we take this gift and we choose as humans to do with it what we will. That's the same with our path. So when we make a bad choice, the karmic wheel gets a kink in it and it comes back around, but it catches speed as it does that. And if you are somewhat spiritually attached, connected to the soul and the spirit within, you can see these things take place, not only in your own life, but in others. If you are unhappy in your life, know that you have become imbalanced, okay? And that balance is happiness and fulfillment. Thank you, kids, for a moment there, pardon me. All right, so we need to remember also that we are all connected in a web. So when there's other people around you that you dislike, it's like you're disliking yourself because we're connected. That is your brother or sister, whether you choose to understand that or not. See, we're all born alone and we die alone so that we can go back to spirit and explain to spirit how we handled ourselves when we connected with other entities in the form of human beings, okay? So if we're negative towards someone, someone's going to be negative towards us when the wheel comes back around, when we're not even expecting it, when our life is good. The energies are always available to us. It's about a good choice or a bad choice. Positive or negative. If you do positive things and you continue to connect with spirit and ask spirit to guide you, they will. But it's about accepting the fact that they are there, having faith. And you can actually test the theory because I'm a kind of a stubborn person and I test everything because I want to know for sure. 
Take a walk or a drive and ask spirit to please show you a bird with a purple wing or a person who's wearing a black scarf or a whatever it is. Ask spirit as you're on that journey during the day to show that to you so that you can see that they're there for you. Sometimes it takes longer, sometimes it takes less. But the point is, is as you start to connect and see these things, you can actually start asking for direction and guidance. And you're gonna hear messages and hear conversations or a song on the radio that's gonna guide you in the right direction and you're going to know. Sometimes we're on a happy path and the path ends at nine. There's nine planets. I don't wanna get into planets, but let's just say the cards go up to nine and then it's time for a new path. And new paths are difficult because we don't know where this new path is leading us, but we do know the choices we've made up to here. And we do know that when things start going smoothly in a new direction, that we are being guided. That when we can't connect to a person or situation, that spirit's way of protecting you so that you will take a path over here that they're trying to bless you with. So we do have control over our karma. We do have control over our choices. We do have control over letting spirit in to provide us with that fulfillment. Try not to fulfill yourself with anybody outside of your path. And if you have negative energies, cut anything and anyone negative out of your path because as you do that, you are absorbing in a brand new gift, a brand new path, a brand new blessing, like a brand new baby. And you get to choose, do I want to do something new with this brand new path that can help give not only to myself and fulfill me, which is most important, but can fulfill those around me? Or am I gonna go back here and pull some of these negative things in and go back around a cycle again until I get the spiritual knowledge? Because we're here to climb a spiritual education. And we don't get our blessings until we've learned from what spirits, what we're showing ourselves. Because everybody in every situation we pull into our path, we chose. Consciously, subconsciously, or spiritually, we chose to have this experience come in because maybe subconsciously we knew that we needed to learn something more about ourselves. So in the future, life gets more balanced because we understand that we're alone in this path, but we have the ability to cut out negativity. We have the ability to connect with spirits so that we can hope, wish, and pray for something to transpire and actually manifest that. We have the ability to make positive or negative choices. So to end, I'd just like to say, here's something to think about. When people go to pass, and their path is ending here on earth. Why do they always ask for God or a preacher? Even those who don't believe. Thank you again for stopping by. Take care and God bless.